Hey guys, for this let you know that Sony Ericsson finally have unveiled their new Xperia Mini and Mini Pro for this year. They are set to be launched in August, the third quarter of this year. We don't have any, you know, pricing or any carriers or like that, but hopefully it's probably going to become the same as the first Xperia Mini and Mini Pro. So. Obviously these phones already do exist, but these are some like uh, upgrades and if you don't like big phones, if you don't like Samsung Galaxy S2, got a big screen, the LG Optimus 2X, if you don't like the Infuse 4G, if you don't like the HTC Pyramid, also known as the Sensation, if you don't like any on one of those, if you think they have two big screens, well, maybe you should take a look at Sony Ericsson's Xperia series, because this is some cool 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 phones and they have one gigahertz one gigahertz processor same as the, the first one they got a three inch screen 320 x 480 5 megapixel camera and yes you could record in HD but obviously the sensor is 320 x 480 so you know you won't see like any big difference between HD and non HD but yeah so what are some of the main differences well first of all the if you didn't know the Xperia Mini you don't have like a keyboard on that little device and it's kind of weird because I mean okay you don't have like a keyboard a slot a keyboard but it's still kind of big I mean if you compare it to mini pro that uh, it finally seems to have like a slot out keyboard I mean they are kind of the same size I mean the Xperia Mini Pro it's a little thicker but I mean it got a whole slide out keyboard so yeah it's kind of weird also it seems like the battery in the Pro is a little smaller so that's always good a little thinner and one very big thing here obviously is the Android 2.3 the latest Android finally I mean the Samsung Infuse 4G I think it's going to come with Android 2.2 and this bad boy you know these small phones from Sony Ericsson they have 2.3 so you will you know be able to make some cool stuff with um, Google's latest technology so that's kind of cool and also uh, I suppose that uh, Sony Ericsson have some kind of UI or something like that on top of it because this is not the stock Android 2.3 or I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure I don't have Android 2.3 so I shouldn't really be talking about it but hey so that's kinda cool so if you wanna have these phones keep a look out in August we're probably gonna see some other cool stuff as well like quad core stuff so look forward to that see you.